Canada is not a nation of defeatists. And this is not a government of quitters. Leading the country through constitutional talks, free trade agreements, and introducing the goods and services tax, Brian Mulroney didn't shy away from controversy. He got a lot of it, nor did he shy away from the reporters who covered him, traveling with him as he met with his global counterparts, or following him through the hallways of the House of Commons. One of those journalists who met Brian Mulroney and interviewed him on many occasions is former CTV chief anchor Lloyd Robertson. Hi, Lloyd. It's so wonderful to see you. Thank you for making the time for this. Thank you, Vashi. Great to be with you. What, in your view, uh, makes or made Brian Mulroney unique? Well, I think he was such an activist prime minister. And what helped make him unique was the fact that back in 1984, there was no cable TV. The Internet was not even uh, around yet. It was, it was a dream in a lot of people's minds, but it wasn't active. And um, I think he took advantage of that in a way because any prime minister uh, had the TV landscape all to himself. If he did something we would cover it. And we did. He was a change prime minister in so many ways. Um, a very prominent and very productive man all the way around. Now, he did have his detractors, no question about that. And he didn't shy away from taking on his detractors. He mentioned names privately, but he never mentioned them publicly. Publicly, if he was asked, he could simply say, well, you know, when you're an activist prime minister like I am, you're going to have detractors. If you don't, you're not doing anything. And you interviewed him countless times. W what can you tell us about those experiences and your, the nature of your interaction with him? Well, he was a charmer. <laughs> he was always welcoming. Uh, he told jokes off camera that would turn the air blue sometimes. Uh, on camera, he was very serious. Some thought he was too pompous. But that's what he was like. That was his, his camera persona was often very different from his real-life persona because he was so joyant, joyous and active when he was talking to you in, in private. Um, also, I think uh, that he was the kind of person who uh, didn't really like to display anything other than what he thought was really proper behavior in front of a camera. So it was hard to get him to do much differently. But we did, on a documentary I did with him for CTV, we did get him to sing. We did get him to sing When Irish Eyes Are Smiling, which he sang with Ronald Reagan on the stage in Quebec City at the signing of the Free Trade Agreement. So um, he was, a, he was a, a special kind of character, I think. He turned out to be uh, the man of an era. I think uh, we, we would certainly think of 1984 to 1993 as being the Brian Mulroney era. We sure are. Uh, just before I let you go, Lloyd, we've lost a lot of pretty consequential politicians in the last number of years, even in the past few months here with Ed Broadbent and, and John Turner. What do you think Canada loses with them? We lose uh, the titans of an era, certainly. Um, Ron Rooney, uh, I think, stands out among them all for what he did and for the kind of person he was. And because he was so out there, he was in your face. Uh, he let you know what he thought about what you were doing. You know, we had both arguments and uh, we talked on the phone. He would call and he'd say, call me back about this, etc. He was that kind of prime minister. Uh, so I think he was, he was a very, people say, consequential. I think that's a good word for him. But we've lost these people who shaped an era for Canada. And I think we have now the country uh, which these people gave us in terms of Brian Mulroney, and Ed Broadbent in particular, you know, they brought in the social programs and Mulroney brought in the GST to support those social programs because he knew that, yes, if we were going to look after our people, we had to have the taxation along with it. So I think uh, the Canada we have today is the result of the builders we had in our political system at that time. A perfect place to leave it. Thank you so much, Lloyd. I appreciate your insights and your analysis today very much. Thank you, Vesky. And we